Andy. Hey, uh, I got another episode of my channel today. I'm going somewhere really cool tonight. Um, what I'm doing is I'm driving right now to the old Arco Arena, and then I'm going to be shuttled to Discovery Park for Aftershock Festival. Awesome. Yeah, they're having it on Thursday this year. It was kind of an extra day that they added uh, because last year was the COVID and all that, so they had to cancel it all. And Metallica's playing this year. But there's also some really cool play bands playing tonight. So me and a couple of my friends decided to go tonight and see some of the bands that you know we hadn't seen for many years. You know, uh, One of them is Exodus. So we're really excited about seeing Exodus. Uh, Anthrax is another one. And uh, Testament and Death Angel and uh, there's a few other ones. Oh, uh, Cypress Hill, they're headlining. And I know they have that song, Insane in the Membrane or <laughs> Insane in the Brain or whatever it was. Um, so that was always a cool song. I remember that song. They're kind of rap rock, I guess you could say. But um, I think it was originally supposed to be Limp Biscuit that was playing, but uh, that was last year. And now Limp Biscuit's, I guess, doing something else, but they're not on the lineup. But what's cool is Metallica is playing two nights. They're playing Friday night and Sunday night. But all the tickets sold out. You can still get in, but they're a little pricey. And the Thursday night was actually pretty affordable. So I, I kind of wanted to just go and see some of these bands that I hadn't seen in a while. And um, so I've seen Metallica a few times, and it's going to be super crowded tomorrow. It should be probably pretty crowded tonight, too. But uh, uh, it was. We were kind of more excited to see uh, these bands tonight than, um, than you know, going, you know, paying the extra money and going to see Metallica. Um, and they only have a limited amount of tickets, so it could be already sold out, too. So, uh, plus, kind of had Thursday night open, too. So I was like, hey, you know, Thursday night concert, you know, it goes from like four. I don't know when the bands start, maybe five o'clock, something like that, but uh, all the way till like 10 o'clock, I think. Um, and then it cuts off. Because uh, there's, uh, I guess they have a, a certain curfew for, for this venue, but it's Discovery Park. So if you haven't seen my Discovery Park video, uh, go ahead and watch that. I kind of show you around the Discovery Park. And with this video, what I'm going to do is um, show you around and how they set up all the, the festival and everything like that in comparison to how it normally is just as a park during the during the day and during the weeks and stuff like that. So. Uh, it should be pretty cool. I'm excited about going, and uh, yeah, I stopped and got got some quick food. Got my McDoubles. All right. <laughs> I didn't get a Diet Coke because I already had a. Uh, I brought a Diet Pepsi with me, so uh, I think the food in there is going to be really expensive. But I am going to uh, try to get some food. That I, I heard they have the Nash and Proper uh, chicken chicken truck in there. Uh, so I might get like a chicken sandwich. I heard those are really good. It's kind of like a, out of Nashville, but they opened up a, a location here recently. It's supposed to be really good. I haven't tried it yet, but anyway, I'm, I'm totally stoked about going to this and, um, yeah, I'm heading over to the old Arco arena now. So I'll take some more video over there, of, uh, just to kind of give you a shot of the old Arco arena too. Uh, cause I did a, a video on the, uh, Doco center where the Kings play now, the, the golden one center. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of where the Kings used to play too. So we'll be parking there and then, uh, I guess they shuttle us over. There's like shuttles that run constantly. So you can go back and forth to your car, um, you know, when, you, when you're ready to leave, I guess. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's my first Aftershock Festival. So I'm totally stoked. Uh, and I may even get a shirt too. So I'm kind of excited about that. It, the weather in Sacramento has been really chilly too. So, um, uh, it, it's starting to be like fall weather, so uh, it should be a really nice night, but it might get a little chilly tonight, so But I'm totally totally excited about it. So anyway, stay tuned and I will talk to you guys very soon in Probably just one split second because I'll be editing it to this part <laughs> See you later. Bye Hey, check out this guy's load. He's got a little tricycle in there. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, I'm here at the the old Arco Arena. Well, actually they changed the name to the Sleep Train Arena, but most of its life it's been known as the Arco Arena around here. I think it was just maybe four or five years it became Sleep Train Arena. It closed in 2016. Uh, they broke ground on it in, in uh, September of 86, and it was open in November of 
88. So it took a couple years to build. And uh, yeah, it, it always seems so big to me. It was, it's crazy. It seems very small right now. Uh, but yeah, I remember coming here many times to concerts, to Kings games, uh, mainly concerts, man. There's a little kind of a walkway right up there, like a curved walkway. I remember walking up that all the time, heading to ACDC concerts, Rush, Van Halen. Uh, I've seen so many concerts here, yeah. And like I said in my last video, in the Doco video, it, people uh, always referred to this as the Echo Arena <laughs> because the uh, the acoustics weren't very good in the arena and it would kind of echo and and it didn't really sound that, that good inside. But anyway, uh, this is the old Arco Arena, Sleep Train Arena, where the uh, Sacramento Kings used to play for many years until they built the Golden One Center. So cool. All right, I'm going to go get on the shuttle for the Aftershock. All right, I'm walking through the parking lot to head to the shuttles. They got them all, all lined up here. I'm going to turn the camera around here in just a second. But yeah, they're going to be shuttling everybody over. It looks like it'll be a quitty, uh, pretty quick process. I brought my uh, sweatshirt. I think it might be a little chilly tonight. Getting a little breeze, and it's definitely not as hot as it's been. So I think it's going to get down into the uh, maybe high 50s tonight. So that's kind of chilly. So I brought a sweatshirt. So anyway, I'll check in in a minute. Yeah, heading over here. They see they got all the, the shuttles lined up. And then they got the health screen over here. You have to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. Uh, as you can see, there's all the shuttles there. We're ready to ride. This is our shuttle bus here. Get ready to board. All right, here we go. This is the road that I come in at Discovery Park from the Garden Highway. And I park kind of right over there to play my guitar. So I was totally wrong. They actually built the stage over here. That looks like the main stage there. That's the check-in area. So yeah, I'll show more in a minute, but yeah, I was totally surprised about this. There's the back of the stage right there. And here's the entrance right here. Go through here to the box office. Get my ticket, my wristband. All right, just, just came in from right there. I just wanted to give you kind of a panoramic. Here's all the uh, like bar, ID check, lockers, bar service. Looks like they got food and booths all the way down there. And as we keep turning here, we go over to the main stage here. Now, I believe that's where Metallica's playing, this this stage. It could be the one over there, possibly. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. I think it might be the one over there, actually. But uh, anyway, I'm just kind of just barely getting in here, so this is pretty awesome. All right, I'm here inside. Now, this is uh, one of the other stages. This is not the main stage, actually. Uh, this is the uh, Clovis stage, I believe. And, and the Chorus Light stage is to my, to my left. But... Uh, but yeah, this is pretty awesome out here. There's not a lot of people out here just yet. I mean, there's a lot of people coming in. The whole festival started in 2012, and it was only one day at that time. It was Saturday night, and then in 2013, they added Sunday to Saturday and Sunday, or Friday and Saturday, pretty Saturday and Sunday. And then it took them until uh, 2019 
to add three days. So they added Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then this year, then 2020 was the COVID year, so they canceled everything. And then 2021 is now this year, and they added Thursday night. So I'm here on Thursday night. And uh, yeah, this is incredible. This is my first time here, so I'm really excited. So yeah, it's been going since 2012. Pretty cool. I'll check back in. Over here on the back side of uh, the Metallic albums. We have the Black album there, the Road album. All right, over here on the side where they have the uh, Metallic albums. Just kill them all down there. Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and, and Justice for All. All right. Supposedly there's another stage over here somewhere too, but it looks like this is where all the food is over here in this main parking lot over here. So as you can see, there's the main stage there. That's where Metallica is going to be playing right there on that main stage. And they've got another stage that's just as big over on the other side, on the left. There's a band over there playing right now. I'm going to walk over here, check out the food. They have all kinds of food over here. And they got this all set up underneath I-5, the freeway here. This is very cool. They got all the food trucks. This is bar service here. And uh, they got like a uh, Bon Mi, Asian Flair, Cajun Creole, and it's like wood fire pizza over there. And then you can see the stage way back in the background over there. They actually do have quite a few bathrooms too, which is nice. And they got a few more food trucks over here. They got some nacho trucks. And then a few more over here too. Quite a bit of food. And then I think there's way more over there. So I'm gonna walk over there too. It's kind of cool they have these uh, aftershock from previous performers. There's the Deftones there. Nine Inch Nails. Very awesome. Yeah, it takes up the whole park. I didn't think it took up the whole entire park, but it really does. Yeah, it's coming out over here by the uh, the big aftershock sign. That's awesome. Death Angel, and now everybody's making it over to the other stage. All right, ah, we just got done seeing Death Angel. Now I'm gonna walk over and grab some food. I'm probably gonna get some mac and cheese. They have this uh, lobster mac and cheese. It's kind of expensive, but man, it looks delicious. I'm gonna check that out. Walk over here by the food. And then I'm gonna go back over to the same stage and then Exodus starts at 6.30.
so we're gonna check right. it out. Over here for dinner, I opted for the uh, mac and cheese. Ten dollars for this one here. There was twenty over there at the other one. They had a bunch of different flavors at the other one, but then I got a diet coke also. So yeah, this one just tied me over till till it's over. All right. I just got done eating the uh, mac and cheese. It was really good. I got my uh, diet coke here. Yeah. Oh man, Death Angel was awesome. Uh, now at 6.30, just in another few minutes, we're gonna be going over to uh, the same stage and we're gonna see Exodus play. And then we go over to the other stage at the, at the east entrance and um, watch uh, Anthrax. And then we'll go back to this stage and we'll see Testament and then back to the other stage and then we'll see the uh, Cypress Hill. It's a lot of fun so far, man, having a really good time. A lot of good food too. The food's expensive though, oh my God. A little plate of uh, lobster and mac and cheese was 20. And then I found the mac and cheese that I got, it was only 10 and it was about the same amount, but it wasn't the lobster. So uh, it was still good. It, it was just cheese, mac and cheese, but it was, it was excellent. But yeah, uh, yeah, I'm having a really good time and I'll check back in in a few minutes over here again by the aftershock sign very cool it's kind of lit up now it looks pretty cool all right yeah just kind of in the area right now the Coors Light stage I'm gonna uh, waiting for Exodus to go on and I'm gonna make my way over there right now but yeah feeling good uh, it's a super nice night it does feel like it might get a little chilly so I'm, I am glad that I brought my uh, my sweatshirt but uh, so far it's pretty cool and uh, yeah, I wanted to show you my shirt. I just got my got this shirt. Shit up! Let's go! Testament just finished up. Now we're heading over to uh, the final band of the night, which is uh, Cypress Hill over there. I'm gonna check them out and yeah, it should be awesome. And then uh, we'll jump back on the shuttle and head back over to, uh, to the car, call it a night. But I'll check in with you in a few minutes. man I had a great time made it back to my car I'm leaving I left a little bit early so I could catch the uh, shuttle quicker before all the crowds come because man there, were, there was a lot of people there and they, they would be just like cattle heading out of there you know if I waited till the last song so I missed a little bit of Cypress Hill I was glad I got to hear him a little bit but yeah I had a great time um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video you know uh, seeing Discovery Park I have that other Discovery Park video where there's just the park there you know nothing there so it's kind of neat to see it with the uh, festival going on and everything so um, 
yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, stay tuned to uh, tell my next video and uh, sub uh, subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, until next time, we'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye.